1 Timothy 5 and 17, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS Atlanta Church coming back at you with another lesson. All right. And uh, the lesson is going to be um, titled uh, Respect Your Elders in, in Your Perspective Camps. Okay. Or in your specific, in the specific camps that are around. All right. Respect your elders. So in your perspective camp. So the ones who are heads of camps and I'm, you know, yes, we expect, you know, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar on down, but I'm speaking in the community where you're at. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that word community in the etymology. All right. Cause, uh, I like that word community. It says community is a number of people associated together by the fact of residence in the same uh, loki, uh, lo local idiom, whatever. It says the common people, right? The common people, something we have in common. What do we have in common? What are we associated with together as a number of people? The spirit, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> it says everybody. It says the community, society, boom, fellowship. Fellowship means association with. All right. It says friendly intercourse, courtesy. The scriptures speak about what a friend is when you read um, John, the 15th chapter. And it says a uh, uh, public common in general shared by all or many things, you know, all or many. So we share many similarities same similarities in this so we are you know the Atlanta camp New York camp Chicago Dallas Tampa you know all these camps are communities all right we have our designated community and in our designated community we have some camps have elders in there men who've been pushing for more than 10 years or 10 years and more all right, you are to respect those individuals. Okay, look up to them. You know, pick their brains. They're right there. They're right there. Watch their videos. Try to be around them. All right, try to be around them. Ask questions. Read, but you got to read in order to ask the questions. All right, and don't be afraid to ask the questions either. They're they're there for a reason. They're your elder. In your camp for a reason. To help you. The scriptures say I came not to be ministered to. But to minister unto. Meaning we're all servants. Even your elders in your camps. In your community. They're there to serve you. Alright. I'm a young brother myself. I've only been doing this for five, six years. I need help. I need help. And I'm going to sit here and admit it. I need help. I need help understanding the scriptures. I need help it to uh I need examples to show me how to move in the spirit. I need help to see how the spirit works. You can know all the precepts that you that you want. You can know the Bible front and back. But doesn't mean you know how to move in the spirit. You don't know exactly how to apply what you know. Knowledge is good, but you need to apply the knowledge. All right? Scriptures say what well, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time. <clears throat> Your knowledge turns into wisdom. You know something, then you go through it in the, uh, an individual situation, which in turn you acquire wisdom because of what you knew. Now you know what I read it, but I haven't been through it, so I don't have the wisdom on it. That's why you have your elders. They've been through it. They have the wisdom on it. But they know it too. Ask. All right. And learn. All right. So again, First Timothy 5 and 17 it says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honors. All right. Let's get the word elder. The word elder in the Greek is um, pres bu t 
Buteros. Uh, press uh, Buteros. All right, let's see what Esau says. <laughs> Strong's G, 4245. Press Buteros. Press Buteros. Press Buteros. That's how you say it in the Greek. All right. Got to roll that R. <laughs> it says uh, elder of age. All right. The elder of two people. Advanced in life. Let's take that spiritually. Advanced in coming into the truth life. And this, their lifespan in this truth so far, they're advanced. They heard the truth before you did. They started working before you did. The Lord called them before before he called you. Simple. So they're your elder. You are their fruit. All right. It says an elder. It says a senior. It says forefathers. That's right. We, we got forefathers. All right. It says a member of, of a great council. Now, let's keep going. Hold on. Uh, that's pretty much what I want. It says a term of a rank or office. See that? A term of a rank or office. Let's get Hebrews, the 13th chapter real quick. Bear with me. My mouse is running out of bats. Um, there you go. Uh, Hebrew 13 and 17. It says obey them that have rule over you. That's your that's your elder. One who has a, a, a rank over your office now the ranking system is strictly for organization all right and the spirit made that ranking system for a specific reason for order's sake okay still respect that rank all right so it says obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves you see that submit you submit yourself in the greek that's a uh, a uh, hoopka a uh, hoopakao uh Am I saying that right? Here, let's see, Esau. Strong's G fifty two twenty six. Hupaiko. 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 It says uh, to resist no longer. So you're not obstinate towards your elders. Okay, you're not stubborn. You're not hard head and difficult to to fucking work with. You don't. You're not supposed to be that way with your elder who's been doing this. For more years and been pushing the word, some of the some of them longer than you've been alive. You see that? It says to resist no longer. Alright? Or been doing this work half of your life span. I'm gonna be one hundred, you know. Um my bishop here in um in my community in Atlanta, uh uh Tazawam, and I have uh elder uh Aratiza. Shoot, man, I'll even say Captain Abba. He's been doing this for seven years, pushing the word for seven, not just knowing the truth, but out in the highways and byways, pushing the word for seven years. <clears throat> uh, Bishop Tazawam, like 10 something years, and uh, Elder Ratzaz, I've been doing it the longest. I am to respect them and not resist them. They're there to help me. The Spirit put them in place. To hear the word before I did so they can help me. And it goes the same when it trickles the trickle down effect to younger bros. My my young my myself as a young younger bro, brothers who are even younger than me, I'm there for them. You see what I'm saying? So don't don't resist. Don't bite the hand that feeds you pretty much. Alright? You gotta respect the ones, the elders who've been doing this thing and you're in your in your communities in your camps, all right. Don't be a difficult and an asshole to work with. Shit, whack. All right, let's go back. It says, um, it says, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. Meaning what? Don't resist. All right, for they watch for your soul. So if you're resisting, you're making their job complicated. Don't make their job as complicated as it is. They got things to attend to other than your disobedient ass. Don't be that. Don't abuse your your um, resources, all right, like Esau does. He abuses the resource. Yes, I'm going to sit here and say this 100. My elders in my camp, they're a resource to me that I need heavily, all right? And they're more than willing to minister. That's a beautiful thing, man. That is 
beautiful. That's like cheat codes. <laughs> All right. So it says, as they that must give account, they got to give account because they watch over your souls. They, they are responsible. The spirit put them in that position because it deemed them necessary to handle these responsibilities. Respect their office. It says that they may do it with joy. So if you're if you submit yourself unto them and obey the rule that they have over you, designated by the Spirit, they can do it with joy. Everything will be good. All right. And it says and not with grief. Now, if you don't, if you're obstinate, if you're if you're a heterodox or unorthodox to the rule that is set in your specific community then you're making their office grievous all right now you're in the lot of uh, grieving the holy spirit all right so it says for this is not for that is unprofitable for you all right you're not in the lot of onesimus okay and i say onesimus it's in the book of philemon matter of fact y'all can look it up look up his name you're not in a lot of Onesimus. Look it up. All right. <clears throat> so let's go. Let's go back to First um, Timothy five and seventeen. It says, "Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Double honor. All right. Let's get the word honor. All right. The word honor is um, uh, didaskale, didaskaleia." In the Greek, it means it. Salakia. Uh, I don't know if that's honor. There we go. Salakia. T uh, Tima. All right. Which means a valuing by which the price is fixed. Ooh, that's heavy. It says Tima, which is like time, as you can see right there. All right. So you're supposed to honor their time and value the time that they have and that you have here in order to pick their brain because it's about to be night. It's about to be midnight. All right. You're not going to get the chance to get these things once the lights shut off. All right. It says of the price. The, it says the value by which the price is fixed of the price itself of the price paid. Ooh, we. Or received for a person or a thing bought or sold. You see, the the apostles and the elders and your elders in your communities, they had to pay a price. All right, they had to sacrifice things to be where they're at right now. You're supposed to honor that. You're supposed to respect that. It says honor which belongs or is shown to one. What have they been showing? Their diligence in this work. This, their diligence in this occupation. Alright. It says reverence. That means a fear of respect. That goes back to the title. Respect your elders in your prospective camps. Okay. You, you ought to respect them. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Not necessarily fear. But you can. You can. Because the spirit set them up right there. Now, if you do something out of the ordinary to those individuals, the spirit will come down on you. Because the spirit is backing them. So there is a reverence when it comes to your your bishops, your captains, um, and your elders. Well, your elders, your bishops, and your captains in your camps. All right? You ought to respect them. Simple. They're doing you a service. Like I said, don't bite the hand that feeds you. It says especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. That's right. These men who you who you have set before you, they labored in this truth. They did the things necessary to get to the point where they're at now. And the Spirit's been dealing with them for a specific reason, for a reason. All right. So yeah, First Timothy three and one. It says this is a true saying: If a man desire the office of a bishop, the word bishop means overseer. Elder is like the same thing. Matter of fact, let's get the word elder in the in the etymology. <clears throat> Where elder is an elderly person, citizen. Okay, let's keep going. 
It says a person, older person, parent, ancestor, chief. There you go. Chief and prince. You got chiefs and princes in your in your camps. Let's go to the adjective. The adjectives, um, matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, let, yeah, let's get elder person citizen. That's what we just read, I think. Yeah. Let's let's keep reading. It says one having authority in the community. You see that? We we got the word community. It means what? A com the common people, the one who has authority, or we know what the word elder is. Uh, pres uh, in the Greek pres but uh, to uh, tiras pres buteras, which means what? Uh, if they have a certain rank or office, okay. So they have a certain rank or a chief, like it's saying right here, a chief or a chief position within the community of the common people. All right, over the number of people associated together by something, and that something is the spirit, it's the fellowship. All right, your elder has that authority in that community, respect it. It was given by the spirit, it says, a parent. They're spiritually apparent unto you. They're nurturing you. They're feeding you. Again, I'm going to say it again. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Bite the hand that feeds you. You're going to get bit back by the big dog. <laughs> the most high. Yahweh Shai. Because he set these men up for a specific reason to do the, the work that he needs to be accomplished. Who is your measly ass to come and buck up against that? You see? All right, let's keep going in First Timothy, the third chapter. So we know that bishop and that elder, that's an authority in your camp, and they're overseers. We read it in, we read that in, um, right here in uh, Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 17th verse. That's a, that sounds like an overseer to me, where it says, for they watch over you, they watch your souls. That's an overseer. That's a bishop. Hebrews 13 and 17 is giving you the, um, Details of what a bishop does They take account of things They watch your spirit You know they make sure you're on the right track and They rule over you That's what a bishop is Alright it says this is a true saying If a man desire the office of a bishop We are all are to desire The office of a bishop And really we all are Because who else Who else is doing this You see two thirds of our people Not doing a goddamn thing so yes, we're bishops unto them. All right. He says he desireth a good work. See, he desireth a good work. These men who were set before us desired that position. They got to that position. They're in that position, respected. They're there for a reason. It says a bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, vigilant. You see, the husband of one wife. All right. <clears throat> Even then going into Matter of fact Let's get it Let's get it um, Let's go to Proverbs Let's see Bear with me while, while I find it Real quick I want to say some Proverbs 6 it's Proverbs 6 and 24 It says to keep No Proverbs six and twenty three for the commandment is a light is a lamp, and the law is a, and the law is light, and 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 reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Now you got that colon. Now the explanation is about to come. We know we ought to follow this, the commandments. All right, that's our first love. That's the wisdom. It says to keep thee from the evil woman. You see that? Keep thee from the evil woman. When speaking woman, yes. You could take this carnally, literally, as but mainly this is speaking metaphorically and spiritually. This is dark sayings like it spoke about in Proverbs, the first chapter. That that woman is a, a false ass philosophy. Okay, and the wrong, incorrect doctrine, Christianity, any anything other than this truth. All right, it says to keep the this these commandments will keep will be your light in the in this in this valley of the shadow of death because it says the shadow of death. Meaning it's a dim, dark ass place. Okay? But a shadow fades away at some point. It goes away. And that shadow is going to go away soon. 
when your house shot comes with cracks of the skies and gets his elect 144. That shadow is America, man. Psalms 23, that's America. The valley of the shadow of death. It says to that's how man, that's heavy. That's a a, a, a lesson in this in itself. So it says Proverbs 6 and 24, it says to keep thee from the evil woman. The evil woman being the the the, the, the bad philosophies, from the flattery of the tongue of the of a strange woman. You see that? So going back, that's what it means, the husband of one wife, meaning this doctrine. All right. Staying there. And you could you could also take that literally, but more so that wife is is this. This wisdom. This is what this is our first love, Sophia. All right. So this verse 25, Proverbs 6 and 25, let's not after her beauty in thine heart. You see, these other nations lusted after the beauty. That's why I said what? America was that whore sitting on top of the beast with that glorious looking golden cup that caught the eye of everybody. She looked good from the outside, had some big old titties, pretty face, you know, with this golden cup and say, here, sip this. And when they sipped it, it was nothing but gall and piss. All right. But they were, they lusted after it. See, we're not caught in that. It says, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. You know how they bat their, you know, women bat their eyelids. Oh, you know, whatever. It's the same things with the other philosophy. It sound good, but it ain't. All right. And when you really root it into this, that shit sounds like child's play, man. <laughs> Hey, the scriptures say in the book of Titus, what? Not to be given and in, in, uh, not to fall for these Jewish fables, pretty much. Just paraphrasing. So it says, verse 26, for by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the, the precious life. You see that? So bishop, a bishop belongs to one wife. And that's this uh this truth. You gotta know these these bishops and these elders that are set before us, been with this one wife for decades. Respected. It says vigilant, sober. You see, vigilant again. That goes back to Hebrews 13 and 17. They watch. They're sober. You gotta be sober to be vigilant. Alright? It says a good behavior. Most of the time when you see them, they they staying in the spirit. That's being of good behavior. Given to hospitality. Man, I remember when um, um, Apostle R. Elmlaw came down to Atlanta. He made my plate. He cooked for me on top of that and made my plate. Had some red snapper. In it. it was off the chain. <laughs> but even so, in my community, I'm going to keep using that word community. I like that. In my community, I'm, Bishop Tazwanda made me plates. Uh, Elder Aratazada made me plates. You know, at the end of the day, these men who are who've been doing these things for a decade or so, they still find it in themselves to be uh, uh, hospitable to the younger. Man, that's something to look up to, man. That's something to look up to. <clears throat> because I remember I was watching uh, one of the Apostle Gabar's videos. He kind of said, like, it's it's easy to get recognition in this thing but you gotta stay humble alright it says after teach these men be ten, been teaching for 10 years 10 plus years it says not given to wine no, no, nor striker nor striker meaning heavily argumentative always contention strife alright not greedy of filthy lucre meaning doing this only for the money monies it says but patient not a brawler, again, going back to not a striker, and not a covetous, meaning you want someone's position, you, 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 you desire somebody else's belongings. That's a sin. Go back to uh, uh, Exodus 20 chapters, one of the Ten Commandments. It says, one that ruleth with his, well in his, Salakia, one that ruleth well his own house. Hey, I'm going to say that again. They're of a, in a, and they're a authority of the common people. This community is a house. Not only your own uh, respective houses, but the brotherhood is a house. It's a community. We're building the house of David together. They're a ruler in that. They got a position there. 
All right. It says having his children in subjection with all gravity. See that? But even when I go and see just a glimpse of their lives, everything's in order when I come over to their house. House clean, woman in order, children in order. They be uh they they <clears throat> they children know the name. You know what I'm saying? They they do what they're supposed to do in the spirit. Man. Simple as that. I'm gonna stop it right there. You see? We know what that elder is and we know they're over our community. All right? And we know we ought to give double honors to them. They deserve it. All right? So respect it. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rulers. He's well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kasha Kuala. Until next time, say Shalom.